Welcome back to the studio. We are in kiln upkeep maintenance troubleshooting mode right now. Yes, 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 yes. So a couple weeks ago, my kiln was under firing. And with a kiln as simple as mine, the most likely culprit is an old element. Time for some new guts. Seeing as how this kiln is about 30 or 40 years old, I got it secondhand. I had no idea how old or how new the elements were. I had no idea what shape the elements were in. So I figured instead of replacing one, I would just replace all of them. That way they're all new and I could have many firings to come without worrying about replacing the next element. You can see me here going through the control panel, changing out the elements one by one. It makes it easier to keep track of everything if you do it one at a time versus undoing everything and then not knowing where everything goes. Even the left and the right can be tricky, so I kind of pulled them left and right. They stayed that way as I replaced parts of the element. Getting the element inside the kiln can be tricky. Mine has a nice little groove for the element to sit in, which is nice because I don't have to use pins to hold it in place. However, it's hard to get in there, so you see me using pliers to kind of feed the wire into the corners into those grooves. One thing to be aware of is typically elements have kinks in them if it is a round kiln or an oval kiln. Those kinks have to go in the corner. Make sure you're pulling it tight or compressing it to make it fit. If you get to the end and you're short or you're long, like I was a couple of times, you gotta redo it. So be very careful, take your time, and you'll be fine. So I finished all the wiring, double checked it, make sure everything was tight and screwed together. I flipped the switch, and only two of the four elements were working. There's no relays, it's really just a switch box and elements. It's very simple. And if there's four new elements, it means the wiring is wrong. So I checked all the wiring. All the wiring was correct. Nothing was corroded, nothing was burned, nothing was um, disconnected. So if the wiring's good and the element's good, then it must be in the switch panels. There was no way to check those. And so I kept searching for other ways. Hopefully I could find the reason without having to worry about replacing the switches. All the connections in the kiln were closed and open as they should and connected. I finally checked the outlet in a red correct. 240 volts. So I've been at this for a solid three hours. At first, the kiln was not reaching temperature, and so I figured it was time to replace all four elements. They broke into pieces, taking them out, so I'm sure they all need to be replaced. If not now, then soon. I replaced all four elements, it still didn't work. I checked all of the connections, all the voltage, all the connections were fine. Then I checked actual voltage going through the kiln. So it goes from that outlet there, through the plug, and it goes into this timer box, then that goes into the kiln. Took the plug apart, checked both of the hot wires, one was working and one was not. And it turns out I only had 80 volts. So yeah, just when you think you've got the problem solved, another problem takes its place. Who knows how long I was getting 80 volts? I kinda wanna buy a new kiln. So it has been quite a tragic and hectic two weeks. I'm hoping to bounce back with new elements, new plug, those of you watching this, thanks so much for being here with me in my moment of struggle. You guys are the real fans. I ordered a new plug, probably coming in a few days, and maybe then the kiln will work properly. I'm trying to stay calm, not get frustrated, very frustrated. So if you're okay with that, we're gonna postpone the giveaway, we'll postpone the Etsy shop opening until I get this kiln squared away and working. I did wanna say thank you so much because the response to the giveaway has been incredible. Like at least 50 of you have responded, which is awesome. Um, I wish there was more to give away. Maybe I will have more to give away when I actually get, get this kiln up and running. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know any frustrations you've had recently in the studio or can you relate, can you connect? Let's, let's vent together. Let me know what's going on in your studio, what issues you're having. Yeah, anyways, have a great day. I'll see you later.